Adventures of Allie and Clint on a whole new adventure today. Tired of buying bait. I spent a lot of money on bait for the trot line. I ain't really caught nothing. So we are out here at this little old lake <clears throat> that I know has crappie and bluegill in it. Got the poles, got the minnows, got the worms. It's raining, that guy's in a kayak out there. Them boys over there in the boat catching crappie with all that brush. Ooh, there's a snake. And we I was told by the guy at the bait store, a man come in and said they're catching crappie today. <clears throat> Catfish love crappie for bait. <clears throat> so we're out here. Gonna put a worm in the water. I'm gonna put some minnows in the water. In the rain. See if we can't load up on some kind of bait fish. Go chase these catfish with. And if I can't catch one of these poles, we get that cast net out. See what we can find. Y'all stay tuned for the action. All right, y'all. We got yellow pole, green pole's got minnow on it. Blue pole's got a worm on it. Mm. Fishing. Got a trot line out. It's got a bunch of frozen skipjack cut up on it. I'll run it tonight and I'm gonna pull it in because where it's at, the river just is not up high enough and I'm just wasting bait. So I'm gonna pull it in, <clears throat> throw that trot line away. I've had it for too many years. I got three new trot lines coming in the mail today. I'll, I'll fix them up and get them ready. Tomorrow is supposed to rain all day again, so won't really be no work tomorrow either. So tomorrow morning, I'll go put that trot line out, the new trot line out if I can catch bait. <clears throat> oh, look at there. That's mama calling. Y'all stay tuned for the action. Well, I forgot to turn the camera on because I was talking to my wife on the phone, but if you can see in that bucket right there, there's a little old crappie swimming around in there. Oh, look, get a bite. There he goes. Oh, while on the camera, got him. Oh, did he let it go? He let it go. That's all right. I just barely caught that other one 10 seconds ago. I told my wife just the other day, she's on speakerphone over here, that it, you cannot catch crappie on worms. Wow. And she told me that I was a liar. And I'm supposed to be the better fisherman. But long story short, I just caught a crappie on a worm in the bucket right there and just had another one hit the bobber and take it under. And if I'd have been a little faster, I'd have got him. So, I stand corrected to my wife that you can catch crappie on worms. I've always caught them on minnows. I got a minnow out on this pole over here and it ain't moved. So far, the one with the worm on it's done got more action than anything. Anyway, y'all stay tuned for the action. We're going to try to slay these crappie. Allie. Yeah. Guess what? What? You can catch crappie on worms. I told you. I told you. Y'all stay tuned for the action. Well, I was messing with one pole when the other one got a bite. Now my phone's ringing again. Y'all stay tuned for the action. Got to answer for mama again. in there hope y'all can see everything good it's a rainy day but it's a good day oh the bite's weird on them they don't really take the bobber under you just gotta kind of watch the bobber swim off just real slow pace and when it swims off you just gotta kind of pick up on it no action on the no action on the the minnow yet that's swimming around out there but two i got two off oh, there's, a, there's a little tap got two off the the worm so far the worm's winning well either that little tiny minnow's a big swimmer or something's 
messing with that one because that bobber swam way over real fast. <gasps> oh, there we go. Got him. There's another one, y'all. Oh, he swallowed it. So far, the worm is the winner. That's three. Three off the worm. This right, I'm gonna have to ditch the. I'm gonna have to ditch the. Uh, ditch the minnows. And go worms on both poles. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. As long as I can fill that bucket up with bait. <clears throat> Each one of those is about two pieces of bait, and I need 33. Oh, so I need about 17 to bait the trot line. I need 33 pieces of bait. Each one of those I can cut in half and get two pieces out of. So we've only been here probably a solid 12 minutes and got three little fish in the bucket. So that's, that's a good rate. I'm liking it. If I catch one or two more on that that one piece of worm, before I catch anything on that minnow, I'm switching them. Y'all stay tuned for the action. Got action on the, action on the, that's gotta be a crappie. We got action on the, the worm, y'all. No, got an old big mouth bass. Oh, large mouth bass, y'all. Hope y'all can see that. Can't keep him. I knew it had to be a bass or a crappie, but I didn't say bass, but I should've. But I knew it had to be one of the two. Ain't nothing else gonna buy the live minnow. Let's get another one out there. The rain is here. Looking for a crappie. You might catch a bluegill on a minute. I'll take that back. Back home in Texas, we will. <clears throat> the rain is here, y'all. Everybody done cleared out but me. I ain't clearing out. I got a roof over me there in boats. Y'all stay tuned for the action. We got a fish on the line over here, I think, y'all. It's swimming up. Oh, he let it go as soon as I... Wow. I mean, he took my bobber under, was gone with it. I was busy, couldn't get to it for a good 40 seconds. The bobber stayed gone. As soon as I picked it up and reeled it in, he let it go. That's my luck. Y'all stay tuned for the action. Well, we caught three right here and a bass. Bass didn't do us no good. So we caught three right here within 15 minutes and then the bite just stopped so there's a dock right over there i'm gonna try that dock and then around that corner is a dam and i'm gonna try that there see how we do over there y'all stay tuned for the action i'm going out in the rain try to get this bait by any means necessary spot number two. Oh, got a little tap right there Hopefully we can get one or two from right here. No action. We don't need but about seven or eight y'all to bait the trot line. I got three. Surely there's four or five more to be caught. Fishing's different up here in Missouri than it is in Texas. <clears throat> when it rains like this in Texas, mist, overcast, and rain, man, you could throw you could throw a worm in the water and just pull them, pull bait fish out back to back to back to back. Here in Missouri, it's like the exact opposite. 
You get a little cloud cover and a little bit of rain and they just, there is no bite. Oh, there we go. Oh, he didn't want it. Or I, or, I, or I prematurely reeled. It still was a bite. <clears throat> Maybe he's still down there. I do have a long tail hanging off that worm. He may only have just the tail of that worm in his mouth. We'll see. Y'all stay tuned for the action. Well, we got live action, y'all. We accidentally caught one. And we caught him on a minute. Well, he ain't gonna make it though by the time I get this hook out of his mouth, but he's going in the bucket. Well, well, he's hooked good. Mm. Pull this innards out, belly out, look like. I caught him when I was reeling in. So we're going to go to another spot and try another spot. I've been here about 15 minutes and that, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes and I only caught one. So that's a little too slow pace for me. We'll come back over here at the end or something maybe. I'll touch all these spots again. Now I'm going to go walk down that, that man-made dam over there and cast out and see what's out there. At least we caught... One on the minnows. Y'all stay tuned for the action. All right, y'all. After I'm almost falling down about seven times, we got to this spot now. I'm gonna raise the bobbers up a little bit, try this spot and see how it works out. <sighs> Looks good. Hopefully there's some fish out there that are hungry. We shall see. And this could very well be our last location. We've pretty much gone all the way out on this lake. We've got four little pieces of bait. This is the lily pad side. I don't know how deep it is here. We're gonna fish right off this boat ramp where I know it's a little bit deeper. We shall see. They must know something I don't know. They're out there fishing. We'll see. Y'all stay tuned for the action. Well, that's it, y'all. We spent 20 minutes over here and never even got a nibble. Ended up with four pieces of bait. Now I'm headed out to run that trot line and bring it in. And then go home and rig up the new trot lines and get them ready. It's more work fishing than it is going to work. I'm glad it's raining. As always, Adventures Alley and Clint. Y'all stay tuned for the action.